Hi everyone! In this video we are going to take a look at Sephora's new Moschino collection for 2019. Moschino and Sephora did a collaboration collection either one or two years ago and it sold out pretty quickly and this one will probably be fairly popular also. So in this video I will do swatches live for you of the eyeshadow palette, the lip products including lip swatches, and of the highlighting products. This is available through Sephora for purchase. I'll put a link in the description box to the link to where you can find it, as well as a link to Ebates or to Go Cash Back or whatever cash back system you want to use to make sure that you can get some cash back on any online order that you make. All right, make sure you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button. Follow Allure Beauty on Instagram to be eligible for any upcoming giveaways. And the winner for the L Seed Collection giveaway should be announced soon. If you didn't see my last video, it is a full comprehensive look at the new skincare brand, The Inky List, which has also launched on Sephora's website. I do a comparison to The Ordinary and any products that are not, uh, that don't have comparisons to The Ordinary, I review by themselves, going over all 19 products that are in the line. So if you're interested in that new brand, make sure you check out the video first before you purchase, and make sure you check out the video for the Sephora VIB sale and a guide to how best to get the most out of that sale and to get the highest discount if you're going to shop the Sephora sale. All right, let's get diving into the Moschino and Sephora collection. So let's start out with the limited edition laptop palette. This retails for $60. It features 30 shades in matte satin and shimmer finishes. The shade is supposed to be highly pigmented and glide on smoothly. So in terms of the packaging, it feels very much like a small laptop. Um, it opens up. It doesn't have any sort of closure that I can tell. I don't even think it's a magnetic closure. Um, it opens up. You do get a full-sized mirror inside. And the layout is very much like a laptop. Um, this center piece here is actually a uh, brush. What do they call this? It's where you rub your brush on there to get the product off. So basically you can uh, use a brush, dust it off and clean it and then dip into another color. Now, unfortunately, the only place where you can get the name of the shades is on this plastic overlay. Not really my favorite. I mean, I guess it's, if you're not a beauty, you know, YouTuber or blogger, it's not crucial to know what the individual shadow names are necessarily, but it is nice when they have the names on the packaging itself. Here are the shades up close. As always, I will be swatching this with an eyeshadow brush from Sigma, and I will do the swatches over a layer of eyeshadow primer. And here you can see the texture of the brush cleaning surface. All right, first we're swatching the shade Bot. And this is an off-white kind of cream shade with a pale gold metallic sheen. Shade two is the At symbol. And this is a metallic pale peach. Third is Watt, which is a matte mustard. Fourth is System, which is a matte yellow toned brown. Fifth is Zeta, which is a metallic almost like rose gold toned bronzy shade. Sixth is Firewall, which is a matte, very orange toned bricky brown. Seventh is Y2K. And this is a glittery warm toned bronze. Looks in the camera like it has a flash of pinky red. Eighth is Artificial Intelligence. This is a metallic, really pale, dirty gold. Ninth is Matrix. And this is a matte midnight black. Fantastic formula and pigmentation on that one. And 10th is Bionic. 
which is a very strong metallic silver. Wow, that looks liquid on the skin. Okay, here are the first 10 shades. I am pleasantly surprised. The least creamy and smooth were these two shades here, but really overall, these are super creamy, smooth, and pigmented across the skin. They really just glide over those mattes too. Perfect pigmentation and finish. 11th is going to be Softwear. And this is a matte, kind of soft rose pink. 12th is Restart which is a super bright matte coral. It's really hard to do these kinds of shades as matte shades well, but look how pigmented that is. 13th is Optics, which is a medium matte rose pink. These two might be satin finishes technically, but they look pretty matte on the skin. 14th is Display. Oh man, another super bright matte magenta color. 15th is Insert, which is a matte fuchsia. It's a little more purple. 16 is Shell, which is a matte kind of muddy tan brown. 17 is Avatar, which is a metallic baby blue, the silver sheen. 18 is Joystick, which is a metallic lilac. 19 is Refresh. And this is a glittery slightly lilac-y pink. It has larger particles of silver shimmer in it. And 20 is Escape. And this is a metallic lavender. Super pretty. All right, there's your next set of 10 shades. All right, there's your next set of 10 shades. Again, I am so impressed Look at these bright pink mattes. It is hard to do these. Even with high-end brands, they have a really hard time making these smooth and this opaque. They are fantastic in this palette. And the metallic's also beautiful, smooth, pigmented. 21 is Data. And this is more of a metallic grape color with lighter purple shimmer enough product on the right side of my brush, so I'm gonna add some more to this. 21 is Monitor. And this is a matte, super bright, kind of like Welch's grape purple. I think I got the numbering wrong. This should be 21. What we just did was number 22. And then number 23 is Hardware. And this, it looks like it's a um, kind of cocoa brown at the base, but then it has silver shimmer in it. It's not too plentiful or noticeable. It looks mostly matte. 24 is Virtual Reality, which is a bright metallic lime green with gold shimmer. 25 is Transfer, which is a matte pale mint. 26 is Shortcut. This is a metallic emerald green. 27 is Status. And this is a metallic Kind of like fool's gold shade. Beautiful. 28 is future. And this is a metallic kind of sky blue, kind of like a dirty sky blue almost with silver shimmer. 29 is cyberspace. 
and this is wow this is a metallic it's kind of like a mixture of midnight blue with some purple in there also a beautiful shade and number 30 is bite and this is a metallic teal all right another impressive showing overall very pigmented some beautifully unique colors in this last set of 10. next up let's look at the limited edition highlighter cheek set this retails for 36 dollars so you get three shades that can be used alone or in combination with each other they're supposed to have a creamy formula that glides effortlessly to create shimmering accents, contours, and dynamic highlights. These can be used on the cheeks, eyes, lips, and body. So as you can see, these come in the form of the highlighters that you used to use in elementary school, which I think is very cute. So they open up like this, and you twist the bottoms to expose more product. This shade here is Delete. This shade here is Control. And this shade is Alt. So together, Control, Alt, Delete. So it says to apply these directly and then blend to wherever you want the highlight. So we'll start with Control. You can see this is a frosty white, but it also has a blue sheen to it. Next, I'll swatch Alt, and this is a shimmering soft gold, and Delete is a shimmering soft peach with gold shimmer. Very pretty. All of these shades, a very refined shimmer. Obviously, these are more concentrated swatches. Let's go ahead and blend them out, get a little bit more of a realistic concentration. They feel very smooth under the skin. They don't feel tacky or thick. They don't drag. I don't have to use a ton of pressure to get the product to smooth out. And this is a really nice trio of colors. One that would work really well for the summer or for people with deeper skin tones all year. One that would probably more suit people with lighter skin tones. Or act as a highlight. Not necessarily just a shimmer, but also a highlight even on deeper skin tones. And then one that's more of a dramatic color and finish. And finally, we'll take a look at the limited edition Liquid Markers Lip Set, which retails for $34 and includes five different shades. This set is supposed to be highly pigmented. These are liquid lipsticks with high color payoff and a smooth matte finish. They're also supposed to have a quick dry formula for smudge-free application all day, but that is also lightweight and comfortable to wear. And once again, you can see these are just like those markers that we used to use in elementary school. Um, they remind me of the ones that have scents to them and that you could sniff with a different uh, like orange or grape scents. So they come in clear plastic tubes and you twist off the handle to reveal the doe-footed applicator inside. So this first shade is Escape, Enter, Shift, Command, and Power. All right, shade one, Escape, is an electric aqua. Shade two, Enter, is a bright lilac. Shift is a bold violet. And I did the last two shades, not knowing the camera was off, so you can tell how uh, strong these are in pigment and they stain. But here we go again with Command. This is a Vibrant Coral. 
and Power, which is a vivid fuchsia. Okay, those are your five liquid lipstick shades. All right, let's do a little bit of a swipe test. Ooh, these aren't super smudge resistant. Now they are, it does take a bit of pressure to move them around and they do have a creamy formula, but just be aware these don't quite dry down like maybe you would expect them. So all of these have good pigmentation to them. The formula I would say is a little bit messy um, and not the most easy to control, although I didn't have to use liner or anything like that. I just used them straight out of the doe foot applicator. They take a little while to dry and once they do they have a slightly tacky finish to the surface but I have more confidence after I've put them on my lips that they will not smudge to the same degree that they did when we did the arm swatches, probably because I'm able to use a thinner layer on the lips. Also not the most practical range of shades, but still fun. So there you have the Sephora Moschino collection for 2019. I'll start with the packaging. I love the packaging and creativity for this collection. I didn't show them to you, but there's also a brush set that is in the form of number two pencils. There's also a shade of makeup sponges in the shape of erasers. And there's also a teddy bear shaped face mask. Not quite sure how that goes with the theme other than that the teddy bear is kind of next to the Moschino name. Uh, but nonetheless, the packaging for this collection is super nostalgic, very on point, very creative. So definitely an A for that. The eyeshadow palette, of course, is not the most economic or efficient when it comes to packaging. There's a lot of empty space on there. It's much bigger than needed to house the actual shadows. But I do love the full-size big mirror in there, and I love that there's that makeup eraser where the mouse pad would usually be. That, I think, is a great addition to an eyeshadow palette. I will definitely be using the highlighters, and I am very impressed by the quality of the eyeshadows. My least favorite thing was the liquid lipsticks, but I do really appreciate the form factor the packaging and the creativity. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of this collection? Are you going to be picking anything up and any other thoughts that you have? All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful or if you liked it and you have a couple seconds, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.